Callum, how are you all feeling going into this game tomorrow night? Obviously, the manager said last week that he doesn't think you'll ever be as badly prepared for a game like that as you were going into the first leg last week. Yeah, you know, we're a, we're a week on in, in terms of preparation. Um, you know, a week fitter. Obviously, the game at the weekend as well, where we can learn a lot of things from that as well. So, you know, we're in a positive place going into the game. Um, I think the first leg, you know, we, we did enough to win the game. Uh, and we know that as well. So, you know, we're confident going into the game that we need to get the result that will take us through. Does the fact that you did do enough in that game to possibly win last week give you more confidence going into such a, a big tie tomorrow night? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like you say, we, we created numerous chances and, you know, our performance in the game uh, well warranted is to get the victory. So, like you said, that gives you good confidence in the back of your head that, you know, if you play anywhere close to that, then, you know, on the night you, you take your chances and you can go through. So um, that, that's, that's a mindset from the players. How much of a lift would it give you ahead of the, the new league season starting this weekend to, to know that there's still the potential of Champions League football? Yeah, absolutely. That's the uh, that's the task that, that lies ahead of us tomorrow. Um, you know, the game's come thick and fast now. So, like you said, we, we win tomorrow night. It gives everyone at the club a massive boost. It gives the supporters a boost and it gives the players a boost as well. So... You know, that's why we're here. We're here to win the tie and progress. And then, like you said, it sets up um, a good weekend for us looking to the, the league opener as well. It is a, a transitional period from the club, a new manager, a new chief exec, a new captain and yourself. So is the main focus domestic football or, or how much importance do you put in European football? Yeah, I think um, European football is, is massive for this club um, in terms of where we want to be financially for the supporters. Um, and for the players as well, you know, you, you become a better player when you play in European competition. That's that's been proven as well. So, you know, for us as players, we want to play at the highest level that we possibly can. And and for us, that's European football, and, and it helps test you as a player to to make you better as well. Just in terms of uh, being a successful season, the importance of European football has always been there for Celtic. But would it be fair to say that domestically this season is more important for the club? I think as a Celtic player and having been a Celtic player for so long now, I think the two of them go hand in hand. I think at Celtic, you, you know, regardless of transition period or not, you know, the players are tasked to win and, and win well. So, you know, that expectation is never going to change. Um, I get that people are, are kind of saying it's transitional and, and everything else and, you know, probably giving us a bit of leeway. But, you know, if, if we have that mentality within the group, then, you know, we won't achieve anything. So... Yes, it's new players. Yes, there's a new manager. Yes, there's a new chief exec. You know, it's a different feel for the club. But you know, very, very quickly, you have to get into that winning groove, and and that's why we're here as footballers, is to is to win football matches and and be as successful as we can for the club. So, like I said, if we don't have that belief in ourselves, then you know we're never going to do it. Would it, would it be fair to say, Callum, that the supporters don't actually care about transition? All they care about is winning trophies. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair statement. Like I said, at Celtic, the, the expectation is always there. It's there every single match. Um, regardless of who you're playing, you're expected to win and win well. So, like you said, that that's um, that's never going to change. And I think for anybody to, to think that it can be any different, then, you know, that they're going to get a bit of a shock. So, like I said, for, for guys like myself... Um, the more experienced guys then, you know, we, we very quickly have to drum that into the heads of the new guys that, you know, at Celtic you have to win and, and that's the way it is. Calum, you're obviously very experienced in these, these qualifiers. I just wondered if there's anything you could say to the, or you would say to the younger lads, perhaps like Dave Murray, who may feature to get them through a tie like this, because it's, it's kind of obviously a big pressurised game. Yeah, of course, you know, but um, being at Celtic and, and obviously... For myself, coming through the youth academy, then you know at, at every level there's there's pressure and expectation to perform and and win matches. So you know for him, this is obviously the next stage of his development. And and like you said, he'll have to lean on guys like myself and James and you know some of the older ones as well. So you know it's about us trying to help him through the game as much as possible. But you know I've got every confidence that if he plays, he'll do very well. And and like you said, when he stepped in. 
Uh, last week he, he was excellent as well, so it shows that he's got that potential and, he, and he's got that level of performance in him. So it's just about us trying to make him feel comfortable and, and confident as possible. And, and like I said, then Dane can can trust his, uh, his abilities. You obviously created a lot of chances in that first game as well, Callum. Uh, the team that is confident that you could kind of create enough to, to, to see your team through. Yeah, well, that's that's. Um, I always speak about it. That's that's the difference at European level. Is you know you can create chances, but you have to take them as well. You have to be ruthless when you, when you're up in the game and you're having a good moment in the game. You you have to take advantage of it. So, you know, like you said, we um, we're confident in the knowledge that you know we, if we play the right football in the way that we can play, we'll create chances. Um, but then we have to take them as well. So you know, ultimately, that's the story. Callum, you've obviously been involved in a lot of these games that come so early in the season. How do you how do you get over the the, the lack of preparation, and do you find that a week can make a big difference at this time of the season as well? Um, yeah, I think obviously week by week, and especially sort of pre season and, and getting everybody back in, and then you know match fitness is is completely different, obviously to you know training and and preparing well. So. You know, I think you can only really hit your groove once you, once you start playing in the games, and and like I said, the games are a proper intensity. Um, you know, the last two have been a real step up in, in intensity and, and quality that we've played. So, you know, like I said, hopefully a, a week further down the line, we'll be in a in a better place, and, and we look forward to the game. And have you been able to to quickly learn from Saturday's um, match and, and kind of move on from that with the, not letting it affect your conference? Yeah, of course. Every every game is a is a chance to learn, and and, and um, you know we've done that. We've had a look at the video where we can where we can be better, um, especially when we are sort of attacking as well. We've we've got that balance behind the ball to to stop counter attacks. But you know, like um, like I've said before, it's when you have so many you kind of new players and young players in it. It takes you know a few games for them to gel. So it's just about the manager getting his message across and and the players listening and and taking on that detail. And then you just try and implement it in the next game. Hi, Cal. Um, you talked about you can't really judge uh, until you get into the groove and uh, playing plenty of games. But how do you compare this season to, to where you were at the same time a few seasons ago? You know, you've not qualified for the Champions League for a couple of years and it's what the club wants to do. How do you assess compared to other years? And do you still believe that you definitely can make it into the Champions League? I think... Obviously, it's a completely different squad from from where we were, um, you know, maybe three, four years ago. And in, in terms of getting Champions League group stage football, um, there's a lot of new players, a lot of young players, so they've still got a lot of developing and, and learning to do as well. Um, and that doesn't just happen overnight. But like I said before, if you if you don't believe that you've got a chance, then it'll never happen. So in football, you have to trust yourself, trust your teammates, trust your manager. And, and together, you know, if everyone's on it and, and gives a hundred percent, then you know anything can happen. And and that step is to take that step tomorrow night, and that will give us a massive uh, confidence boost in that run. Just in terms of the manager, how are you getting on in terms of taking on uh, his new methods, his new philosophy, playing style? How's everyone getting on? Yeah, good. Um, I think you can see the the sort of attacking football is, is flowing. You know, we've created a lot of chances in the games that we've played. Um, and then obviously just in, in transition, uh, just to be tidier, you know, as we are building up the pitch, then, you know, the game at the weekend is, is probably a perfect example. If you're not quite set behind the ball, then, you know, you can get done in counter attack. So we have to work um, really hard, you know, as the players alongside with the manager to, to just fine tune the detail of that. And and like I said, you, you only get better when you when you do it with uh, with games and match practice. Well, um, just following on from that in terms of the new manager as well, how much has he changed the, the culture in the club in comparison to you know what you've been used to in the past? Uh, I, don't, I don't think he's done too much different in terms of you know culture. I think there's an expectation here at Celtic where you know you, you have to live and breathe football when you when you come in in the morning, you're, you know you're super organized, you're ready to go, you do all your prep work and then when you get on the training pitch, you, you give a hundred percent to to the cause and and try and you know first of all get better as a player, uh, and then collectively get better as a team. So, you know I think he understands that that, that this club is is sort of built around that. And you know I've I've touched on before. There's a lot of young players, you know, especially coming for the academy as well. Uh, they they know exactly what that's about. So it's it's just about you know the ones that we add into the mix. Then you know they they quickly understand it. 
you have to be a hundred percent on it every single day to to get better um, as an individual and then as a team collectively. And in terms of those new players that you mentioned that are coming in, have you had the opportunity as captain to maybe have a wee chat with Kyle Starfelt yet, or Furuhashi are still on their way over? Yeah, they're they're in uh, they're in London just now, so um, you know I'm actually going to speak to them this afternoon. So. Uh, get a chat with them, see see how they are, um, and then obviously you know we're we're really looking forward to to adding them into the group and you know seeing that the qualities that they've got, um, you know can can really help us as a squad and as a team as well. So yeah, I'd, I'd sort of hear Matt this afternoon to have a wee chat with them as well. Anyway, what did you learn from Midtjylland about Midtjylland in the first game, and what do you expect from them tomorrow? Yeah, I thought the uh, the first leg was a is a very physical game. Um, you know, a lot of high intensity running, a lot of challenges. Um, you know some some longer passes to to try and put us under pressure and and fight for second ball, and I th- I think it'll be you know more of the same, very similar um, tomorrow night. You know we we look forward to the game. We hopefully we can limit them to to little chances as we did in the first game, um, and then you know like I said we we're, we're here to win the match, so we uh, we have to take our chances and then and then stop them scoring at the other end. So. You know, we're looking forward to the game. It will be a very tough match. Do you consider yourself favourites to go through? I don't think um, I don't think we're, we're massive favourites. I think Mitchelland, you know, the in Champions League group stage last season, you know, very good team, very strong team. So we have to show them a lot of respect. Um, but at the same time, we ha- we have to uh, be confident in our own ability to to win the game. So for sure, it will be a good match.